Hi guys, welcome to another VIP Bytes. This one's about Facebook accessibility fail. So I did a video on how to save links and other things within Facebook to Facebook, kind of like bookmarking when you're using a browser. I wanted to also show how to do it using voiceover so that someone that is blind would know how to save stuff in Facebook. And I found a problem with that. So in the Facebook app, when you're looking at a post in the upper right hand corner, there is a drop down arrow. When you press that drop down arrow, it shows you a bunch of options and depending on what is in the post, if it's just a text post, it will say save post. If it's a link, it will say save link, video, save video, etc, etc. But if you have voiceover enabled on your phone, when you highlight over a post, as you will soon see, you do not have the option to press that down arrow. When you press that drop down arrow, the menu that appears will change depending on if you're following the person, if you want to hide the post, if you've already saved the post, you can unsave it. This is a feature that has been left out for those who are blind and visually impaired. Social, setting, Facebook, double tap to open. Facebook, messenger, button. What's on your mind? Photo, button, status, what's on your mind? CBC News and two other share the link. One hour, Atlantic Canada in financial ruin within 10 years, predicts Economist. A New Brunswick Economist is warning that Atlantic Canadians will become second class citizens due to its aging population. CBC, cut, zero out of five stars. CBC News, one hour, CBC News and two other share the link. So when voiceover is enabled and you click on a post, it highlights the whole post. It doesn't allow you to highlight that arrow that's up in the upper right hand corner by itself. Accessibility shortcut, selected, voiceover, selected, voiceover off. After disabling voiceover, I was able to click on that arrow as you can see. If you like this video, help me share it within the visually impaired community and everywhere else to let Facebook know that this is a problem and hopefully they'll get it resolved as quick as possible.